One of my favorite features from Apple Compressor is droplets, and I'm gonna show you how to save a whole bunch of time in your life by using them. So I have this little animation I created for my Apple Motion Masterclass. I'm just doing a full rebrand on the site and wanted to create this handy little GIF slash GIF. I don't care how you call it. I know I'm a controversial guy. What we can do is right click, select open with, and go ahead and throw that into Compressor. Once we're in Compressor, we can go over to the left side under our motion graphics and find animated image large and add that to and then start the batch. It doesn't take that much time but there's an even faster way. And the reason why this is helpful is because I use this not just for animated GIFs, GIFs, whatever you want to call it, but I also use it for stripping out audio on video clips or setting stuff to a specific codec that might be required by a client. So to create a droplet, we'll just go to compressor and you can see on the left side, we have all these presets. You can of course create your own preset down here at the bottom left. I do have a full beginner's guide on compressor if you're interested. Right click on any of these presets or make our own and then select save as droplet. From there, we can call this droplet whatever we want. I'm just gonna call it subscribe and then push save. If we take a look at our desktop, this is where I saved it. We have our subscribe droplet. We can save this droplet absolutely anywhere we like on our computer, it does not matter. But we've essentially created a mini app. And what we can do with this app is right click on any video file, go to open with, and you'll see I have my Apple lossless audio version, but we also have our subscribe version down here at the bottom. So we can click on that, and we've opened up the tiny little droplet. We could open multiple video files if we wanted, but from there we can just press start batch. So we haven't needed to open up compressor. This is kind of working in the background, makes it so you don't have to click a whole bunch of buttons. Your settings are already loaded. So I absolutely love droplets. They save me so much time, and I just wanted to make a quick video showing you how to use them.